Hello. Hiya. How are you guys today? Good, how about you? A long day for all of you? Very how long have you been in this room? <laughs> just for this particular just an hour. Uh, okay. <laughs> All day. Yeah. All day. Okay. Fun. How many shows have you covered? How many shows do you cover in one day? Uh, depends. Depends. Like today for me is four. Tomorrow is eight. Wow. Yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be more intense. Oh, I bet. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what can you tell us about Ghost Rider? Um, he has a flaming skull for a head. And he drives a flaming car. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're very excited to have Ghost Rider on the show. Um, specifically, the version that we're doing, which is Robbie Reyes. Um, Could you talk about what, what made you guys pick Robbie over any of the other Ghost Riders? Well, uh, the, the idea was sort of twofold. One is that we want it to feel totally new and different, and most people aren't very familiar with that version of the character because it's new. That gives us a little bit more latitude. Um, but also, you know, we like the idea of a guy from East LA. You know, that, that's a character we, we, we are interested in introducing to the dynamic of our show. So it was sort of a no brainer. There's no, we didn't really hem and haw about it. We, we saw, you know, they said, which would you want? And we said, this, because it's cool and the, the car is cool and we feel like there's a, a good story there to be told. Lincoln essentially sacrificed himself. Uh, will we see the repercussions of how this action affected others, especially Daisy, in the season? Absolutely. I mean, at the end of the season, we showed a six-month jump, and Daisy's now on her own, gone rogue. That is an example of how it's affected her. She's isolating herself. Um, we will see more of that. And she's trying to, you know, she's... She's trying to do good, and I think she's trying to honor what he said, which is, I believe you're made for more than this. And I think that he, she thinks that she doesn't live up to that uh, belief and is trying to. Um, Can we get to see what happens? There's a possibility of seeing that, um, but when we come back, the first episode, you'll see that we're sort of right on the heels of that six-month jump. And we've done it, you know, every season we've done a time jump, and this year we just decided to do it right at the end of the season instead of the beginning of the new season. Um, we'll see. Can you guys talk a little bit about, uh, you guys have a different time slot, and also you're just building on previous seasons. And I wanted to ask, um, do you feel like you, you can go darker with this new time slot or more complex because you're building off of previous seasons? And if you could speak a little bit about that. We're excited to have our new time slot because it does give us the opportunity to go darker. There's also the opportunity to be a little sexier, um, perhaps to see more couplings on the show. We know the Fitzsimmons, they're in a relationship now, a bona fide relationship. So, uh, not, that they're, not that they're like, not that Ian's super sexy. No, he's not sexy. Yeah, I don't think of Ian as sexy. You know. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mac. Mac on the other end. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, I think the hope is that we can do we can skew a little darker, and that's one of the one of the factors that weighed into bringing uh, Ghost Rider on the show. Uh, Fitz and Simmons as a couple has been a long time coming. Is this something you had planned from the beginning, or a development that came from the story? Um, we've always sort of gone back and forth. There are different sort there are different opinions on whether or not they should have gotten together in our writer's room. Uh, we've always been of the mind that if it's an unrequited love, it could be a forever love. But their their bond is so deep and they're you know, it's very clear that there's they're in love, so we didn't want to keep them apart for too long. Right. We'd always imagined that they were you know, they have sort of a brother and sister relationship when we came into the show, but that they were made for each other. We placed so many obstacles in their way. Yeah, it together. felt like if, if we did that one more time, the audience People would have gone, okay, oh, really mad at us. <laughs> like, literally, you just built a canyon between them. But now um, that they're officially in a relationship, you know, that, of course, comes with its own complications when you're working together and living together. Um, so we will see how that pans out. Will they be happy? Huh? Will they be happy? Well, yeah, no one on our show is happy, are they? But we don't, you know, one of the things that you, you root for Fitz and Simmons because they had so many obstacles and you want them to be together. 
So our goal with the with their relationship is to make it the reward that you were hoping it would be. And uh, you know, yes, there will be obstacles, but it's not like we're gonna you know you're gonna come into the new season and he's gonna you know be dropped to the bottom of the ocean again or anything. <laughs> <like that. laughs> or sent to another planet. Yeah. yeah. Yet. We'll see what happens. Yes. Yeah. We will be seeing some of them again. We don't want to spoil anything and yes, some every there's a lot of shows on TV and so every time we cast someone and they're good, they get their own TV show. Um, but uh, so some of it is scheduling, and some of it is uh, our a desire to sh tell those we stories. We have a nice group of Inhumans to call upon. Yes. Thank you so Great. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you all.